So to start off this chapter, we need to take a look at the application called Disk Utility because this is the primary tool that we will use to look at information regarding disks, disks of all types, as well as being able to configure various options and even doing repairs of those disks. This tool is inside the Utilities folder. You will find that in Macintosh OS X, the majority of the applications that you will use are inside the Applications folder at the top level of the hard drive, and inside that there is a Utilities folder that contains the majority of the utilities. Here is where we will find Disk Utility. I will double click Disk Utility to open this up, and now we will take a look at some of the basic options. Within Disk Utility, on the left hand side what we see is a list of available disks and we will see disks over here whether they are internal hard drives, external hard drives, or even DVD or CD-ROM media. Another thing that we can see are possibly disk images and a disk image is a Mac way to transfer information in an encapsulated format because a file at that point it appears as a single file it's opaque to the file system yet when you double click on it it actually mounts a file system that is of some predetermined size and of course we will take a look at creating and working with disk images in this same chapter now as we look down the left hand side one of the things to note is that each one of these icons has a primary icon with the partitions listed underneath. The primary icon that you see at the top is the drive mechanism itself and then listed underneath and indented are the individual volumes that have been partitioned with a file system. What I currently have available on this computer is the built-in hard drive with two partitions. This 1.9 gigabyte SanDisk Cruiser is a USB flash drive. I also have available a CDRW which is actually formatted as a DVD-ROM because the original item that I, uh, that I used here was a DVD-RW that I recorded video onto. We will use this same tool to come back and take a look at various information and then we will one by one take a look at the individual tabs within this tool. For the time being, just know that any configuration and maintenance of disk drives and their subsequent partitions and volumes will take place through the disk utility application.